Hey guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, and has this ever happened to you where you're looking at a great animation that you made a while ago, and then you see whatever this is? You, your frames are red, and you have the, all these strange blue colors instead of the colors that you actually picked for the level, and when you play it, the nothing comes up. Like, this is supposed to be the shading layer, and my animation has no shading. Has that ever happened to you? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what this is and how you can fix it. And we're gonna get started right now. If you guys have any questions about this tutorial, be sure to follow the link in the, my description to my Discord server. It's really hard for me to help you guys on YouTube because I can't share pictures um, or screenshots of my software so you guys can find things easier. I'll have to explain it all in text. So definitely follow the link down in the, in the description to my Discord channel so I can help you guys out. And perhaps I can even do voice chat if that's necessary. Also, if you wanna see the character that you designed in my short film, there's still some time left. I'm probably going to extend the date. It was due December 15th for the Castle Dark, your character in my short film event. However, I'm probably going to extend the date to the 20th so you guys can still get your character in my short film. How that works, I'll leave the video link in the card. You can click on it right now, but it's really cool. You guys can see your character in my short film if you choose to participate in this opportunity. So definitely something you wanna check out. Also, I make a lot of tutorials just like this one. So if this is helpful to you, definitely check out the other ones by clicking and subscribing to my channel. All right, so your frames are red. What's going on here? Why isn't the shading, why isn't the shading showing up? This is ridiculous. Um, the problem is this, OpenTunes cannot find the level that you were drawing on. This frame, you want to pay attention to this right here. I'm going to go into view. Uh, maybe go into the, okay. So pay attention to this right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This frame, this level right here, this column right here is called N. The start is N, okay? So you want to pay attention to that because you're going to have to go into your OpenTunes directory and find in your drawings folder where N is. So I'm going to go to my OpenTunes directory. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to this PC, uh, local disk or whatever your open is installed on, open tune stuff, go to sandbox, or unless it's in a project, you'll go to project, sandbox, and then drawings. If it's in a project, you'll go to project, select the project, then drawings. All right, so I'm going to, mine's in sandbox, so let's go to drawings. And we're scrolling down. These are all the levels that you've created. And when a level is attached to a scene, your frames will show up. So let's scroll down. It's alphabetical, so A, B, C, all the way. Let's find N. M, M, N, there's no N. That's why your drawing is po possibly red because there's no there's no um, level for OpenTunes to load into that software. This happens a lot when you have, um, like me, when you have multiple versions of OpenTunes. You see I have OTX, OpenTunes stuff, and OpenTunes 1.2 stuff. When you have a lot of folders like that, it can get really disorganized when you're saving in different places. So if you do have multiple direct directories like I do, you, I'm gonna go to OTX, maybe I'll go to Sandbox and then Drawings, and look for the level that you lost in those other directories. If you, if you didn't, then perhaps you moved the folder and you have to go to where you might have moved it and find the level that that is lost. So I have M, I have, let's see, we have M, 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 and no N. So what I did actually for the sake of the story is I just straight up took them out. They're on my desktop right here. I'm gonna copy these and I'm gonna drop them back in here. So paste, all right? Then we're gonna go to open tunes. We're gonna, re we're gonna reload this. So I'm just gonna go to help, start pop up, and then we're gonna go to Zim and here we go. And now our, our shading is back. You see that guys? The shading is back because OpenTunes is loading these levels from the directory. If there's no if there's no level N in the directory, then OpenTunes can't load it. So if you guys have a lot of old animations from a previous version of OpenTunes that you use in a different folder, search those folders, go to the drawings folder and find those columns because that's where they are. Um, however, if you have different projects, there's probably going to be multiple A levels. So since they're, they're all listed alphabetically, this is A, correct? You all seeing that? Now let's go to local disk. Let's go to OTX, um, sandbox, to drawings. These, this is also A. Every time you create a project, a brand new directory for open, open tunes to save all your outputs, drawings, palettes, scenes, and all that, all that stuff is created. So if you lost your levels in another project or another sandbox, 
then it could be possible that you can't get them back simply because they have a similar name to something else in the other directory. So if I tried to get, if I tried to get drawings, if I tried to get these A, like say I lost these, right? And then I took, I took, let's go over here. Sandbox drawings. And say I took these instead to replace it. That wouldn't work because these are different drawings. They're in a different directory and OpenTunes just names them alphabetically. There is a way to prevent this in the future though. So what you do is you go down to OpenTunes and when you create a new level, you, I'm gonna right click on the on an empty column, do new level. Instead of letting OpenTunes automatically name it, say it's gonna automatically name it V, you name it yourself. That way you can, prov you can always find the levels that you need. So I'm gonna name this Skybox. Skybox, I'm gonna hit okay. All right, that's Skybox, Skybox one. I'm gonna hit save, save all, exit OpenTunes. Now I'm gonna go into OpenTunes stuff, sandbox, drawings, and Skybox should appear here. Yep, here it is, Skybox. That way you can always know what level is what. You can name your levels and then you won't be able to lose them or you won't you won't be able to replace them with an incorrect level because you'll know when, what they're named. Always do this. It, I know it seems like a lot of work to have a lot of different named levels, but it will help you in the future. And it is worth it. Especially for someone like me, me who's making a short film, you need that organization on your side. So I hope that helped guys. I know it's a really frustrating issue. Um, trust me, I've been through it. I, I think I lost basically all my, my animations from 2016 um, and 2017 because of this issue. And I hope this, this helps you. If you have questions, join my Discord or leave a comment that might be easier to explain. But if it is a difficult question, please join my Discord so I can help you. With that said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.